Thank you so much. <laughs> what happened? I'm so sorry. I I'm fairly certain that aliens had taken our recording. Yeah, we didn't have cosplayers to defend off the aliens. That happens. <laughs> that stuff happens. The gremlins of the interwebs have eaten the yeah the recording. Exactly, and unfortunately, Ronnie Ronnie can't join us <laughs> at the moment. She's having password issues. Oh my gosh. Technology. Yeah, like uh, that's what happens. <laughs> Nerdy curiosities. This conversation a couple days ago or something. I don't know. I very familiar. <laughs> Hobby swap or something. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Take two. Um, <laughs> greetings, yeah. nerds, and welcome to a new episode of our podcast, Nerds Are Us. I'm joined today by Jamie. Hello. And Jen. Hi. Myself, Rach. And our guest this week is author and producer PJ Harzma. Hi, PJ. Hey, guys. Uh, thanks for chatting with us. Glad to be here. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> so we have to first start off by saying that this is actually a re-recording of our conversation with PJ um, because of unforeseen technical difficulties. Uh, PJ was kind enough to reschedule another chat with us, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. It was probably funnier the other time, or uh, let's, let, let, this one's going to be better. This one's going to be better. Positive, positive thinking. Positive. I love it. All right. So we got the chance to chat with you in San Diego. How was yeah. your Comic Con experience? Yeah. It was good. It's a lot of work for us. You know, a lot of people go there to have fun, but for us, it's a lot of work. It's three days of press. We have a booth, we're running around, it's very tiring, but uh, it's fun to get to see all the fans, to share your name and read out really well in Hall H. It's always good to be in Hall H. And I uh, got to be on the IMDb boat, a big boat up in the back, that was fun. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of work, but uh, I do love seeing all the fans and seeing everybody. So, it's good. oh, she's here. Ronnie! <laughs> And we're joined by Ronnie! Yay! Yay. <laughs> you remember your last word? It's like, oh yeah, it was my first puppy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a process. <laughs> <laughs> all good. It's all good. All right. So, for season two of Common, has filming wrapped up or are you guys still in the process of filming? It's all wrapped up. We're in here right now. You're at the comment offices downtown LA. That's Caleb there. He's uh, cutting some stuff there. Hi, Caleb. And Hi. Alan and Brian are in that room right there working on, uh, I think, episode four. And then um, our other editor and Alex are post super down over here in this room. So uh, it's cool. I wish I could take this and give you a tour, but uh, I'm a little. Yeah, there, there would be a lot of fainting and thumps and such. <laughs> so, yeah, we're all here. We're, we're cramming away. Hopefully, we have one more week of uh, offlining, and uh, and then we'll start making it all look pretty and sound good. Awesome. Any spoilers or secrets that you can tell us? We're really excited about our musical with Lou Ferrigno. It's a musical with oh. Mason nice Men where Lou plays Lenny and Alan plays every other role. That's how it starts out. But uh, it's, it's, uh, it's super funny. And they've renamed the musical I'm a Stupid. So. <laughs> you That's guys don't perfect. even need to worry about merchandise because there's t-shirts already made. <laughs> right? There's a lot of t-shirts coming out of this year because there's lots of little uh, funny little asides like Bobby opens uh, a massage parlor inside a 
health food store, but also sell roadkill sausages. So there's a really cool, there's a really cool roadkill logo that I can't wait to get on a t-shirt. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> Ooh, roadkill. roadkill sausages. My little daughter Zoe's in it this year. Oh. She was uh, she was upset because she wasn't in it last year. Because Skyler, my other daughter, played Furia. So this year we promised Zoe we would do it. But uh, she's six years old. She got to play a studio exec in charge of social media. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you know it's a, it's a little extras role. The fact that she's does it with uh, Eliza Dushku, and uh, they break the, the scene in the scene in bed. Uh, it's me, Eliza, and Zoe. We leave the set, and Tommy's there too, and Zoe is walking next to me. She's like, I need a line. You gotta do it. <laughs> 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 Come on, kids. Well, I no, we're gonna have problems with that one. <laughs> in the right direction to me. <laughs> I think so. Mm -hmm. Just wait until the teenage years. <laughs> Good luck. I, 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 I don't even know what to do with that. I'll tell you guys. <laughs> um, let's talk about the Con Man game, which will be available for download August 25th. That's today. Uh, can, you give, can you give a brief synopsis of the game? A lot of people are wondering, but it's going to be iOS and Android. So okay. you get to go, yeah, you get to go engine assistant. And uh, John Sweet is your janitor, Kevin Smith's your security guard, uh, Nolan North in charge of missions, Alan is your uh, guest, and you can have a guest of Spectrum. And so it's a sim style game where you build up a convention, make it as big as you can, add different booths, fantasy booths, sci fi booths. Uh, uh, for all the different themes of booths, and uh, and then the aliens from Spectrum, they come in and they start trashing your booth, and start tearing it up and setting it on fire and chasing your Commodores away. So you have to get super fans, cosplayers, and get them special uh, powers, and then you take them to a battle arena and then you you, you kill the alien, or they kill you, and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, a lot of alien fun. <laughs> Nice. It's good. It's really, it's a really good game. I've got, uh, I'm trying to download it here right now. Fans. Nice. The first one is takes a very long time, so be patient with it. It takes to, to get it going the first time. It takes a long time. So when you download it today, give it a chance. Now your computer just takes a while the first time. We're going to fix that in the next update, move some of the stuff on that other side of the load to it's longer from the app store, but the first one is a little, uh, it takes some time. How did the concept of the game come about? Um, when, we, when we first started uh, crowdfunding, as you know, we set records so fast and we started making money, uh, so much of it that we you know, had enough for the season, and then we always dreamed about making a game about it, uh, and the idea was that, well, let's, let's do this game now. And when we actually decided to make a game, we didn't really know what it was going to be. So you know, we knew that it would be somehow based on the show. And then uh, once we reached that stretch goal, we sat down and we started figuring out exactly how it was going to be. I and mean, we literally ripped up a picture. There's a picture floating around the internet that was that Freema, the studio that made it, gave it to us as a as a way to say, "Oh, well, here, look, it might look something like this." It's a very funny picture. It's very different than what things look like now. Uh, who do you think could organize a better convention? You, Alan, or Nathan? Well, me. <laughs> me. <laughs> and, uh, Obviously. Yeah, me. Um, then, then, then Nathan. Yeah. He's very uh, goal-oriented, very meticulous. And then, uh, and then Alan. <laughs> My guy's so creative, he has so much on his mind, and there's so much going on in his head for him to do the logistics of putting a con together. It just wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't happen. <laughs> oh. Jamie, do you have any rapid-fire questions? 
Yes, I do. Um, what is your current TV obsession? Unfortunately, I don't have one. Game of Thrones was it, and it's been done. It's gone now, so I gotta wait. Um, I started watching the is it Stranger Things? Is that what it's called? Yeah. You call it? It's just talking, I, we talked about it. Yeah. Um, I started watching that. My girls are into it. I, I, I liked it, but uh, I'm actually looking for something right now. Mindy Sterling gave me some suggestions. She likes Bloodline. You guys watch Bloodline? Is that good? And you told me that. that's supposed yeah. to be good too. And then, so Mr. Robot's the other thing that I've got lined up. That's a show I really like. The Mr. Robot uh, is the other one. But I've been searching. I'm searching. You got any questions? I'm uh, I can recommend Dark Matter right now. <laughs> Dark Matter? Oh, is Dark Matter good? You know, Spectrum was originally going to be called Dark Matter. Hmm. Spectrum yeah. Inside the Young Man was originally going to be called Dark Matter, and then they put that out. Um, no, it's, it's kind of like Firefly. It's oh, really? a crew on a ship, and there's like certain characters that remind me of certain characters. Yeah, it's, it's actually really good. I really like it. I will watch it. Dark Matter. Dark Matter. Yeah, I know. It's on sci-fi channel. Hmm. Um, is there a certain film or book that reminds you of your childhood? The, uh, the Softwire books are loosely based as a kid living in my space. But when I was uh, 12, 13, my parents used to make me work in a ceramic factory, very hot, back with, the, with all the kilns and working the summertime. And I used to write slave across my chest and slip, slip as a stuff you pour in the molds to make these ceramic items. And so I lifted a lot of that. Uh, anger, angst as a teenager having to work my summers like that, and I put that in the software books. So uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of me and those and these kids having to go through this indentured servitude on this field on these alien. Hmm. So yeah, software. I, I mean, I, there's so many Anglin growing up. Oh, anything that that guy wrote. Uh, um, Baxter was another girl's eyes. Obviously, I love all the classics, but uh, my faves. If you could change one thing about the film or television industry, what would it be? I think it, I would like it to be more, I would like the creative to be more in control. When you look at the con man, it's, it's done by a bunch of creative people that have final say and really put out a show that they want. A lot of times, uh, the systems get so big upon themselves that uh, that uh, through committee and through all the politics of large companies, I think the creative side of some great products kind of get diminished. You know, there's so many compromises get made that eventually you know, you're heading this way, and every time you make a little compromise, you know, people are getting off course. And it's not the fault of any one person, it's just the way the system is. So many people have to put their fingerprint on it. So we're really excited with Comment because, you know, it's just being easy and all and make it something we love and giving it out to the fans. And as long as the fans like it, we'll keep making it. Up. And we appreciate it because yes. it's an amazing show. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Jam, do you have any more questions? Or? No, I think that's it. Well, okay. don't forget to download the game today. Make sure you get it. iOS or Android, Conman the game. Play it. We're all going to be playing with it tomorrow. Uh, uh, Alan, Felicia Day, and Nolan North will be on Twitch at 4 p.m. playing it. Another surprise. And uh, <laughs> we're playing the game. So we'll all be there tomorrow. I'll be tweeting about it. So if you get to play, get some screenshots, tweet about it. I'm trying to break some records again tomorrow. So we'll see. Awesome. Is that for Pacific? What's that? Is that for Pacific? Uh, yeah. Uh oh, he's frozen. Uh oh. Did we lose him? I'm right here. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> you were frozen for a while, too. <laughs> Yay, technology! This is working. The aliens, uh, they're eating our technology. I was frozen just to, just to, to goof you out. <laughs> <laughs> Those aliens! Damn it, we need the game. We need, we need our cosplayers. <laughs> Alright, so 4 p.m. Pacific, and it's for Android and iOS. iOS. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. And where can we watch the tube comment? And when is that 
So com uh, comment on comment. See the ones on Comic Con HQ right now. So you can uh, download that app and watch that on smart TVs. And then season two will be out late fall. And uh, you'll be able to watch that at Comic Con HQ as well. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you again so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Yes. Thank, thank, you, thank you for not just one, thank but two interviews. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, guys, be good. Appreciate it, PJ. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.